the um what are we doing the online expo for psychic wellness and spirit psychic and spiritual wellness online expo for this week i tell you what this is i feel like i've been in show back to back shows and i think it's about the um <laughs> i think i've used my ten thousand words so i'm going to bring my guest into the show very very soon and she will be able to bail me out so <laughs> So, so we're talking today about to Suze Davidson. Now she is an educator, a seeker, a seeker of truth, knowledge and understanding. So at the core of who she is. So throughout her life, she's been this has been expressed in different ways. As a child, she always had to know why and how something worked, not just accepting what she was told at face value. This, of course, drove the nuns at the school nuts, and it's been the internal drive and thirst for knowledge and understanding that's led Sue's where she is today. I'm Adair Palmer, and I'd love to welcome to the show tonight, Suze Davidson. Hi, Suze. How are you going? Hi, Adair. I'm fantastic. Thank you. And That's thank you so much for having me tonight. Sounds like you've had a busy not. day. It's, it's been a very interesting day. It's uh, the second day two in our ex week-long expo and it's, uh, it's certainly ramping up, which is really cool. We've got Roz here. Hi, Roz. Roz has been following us all around the internet. Um, <laughs> she's been doing her own shows and got her own. Crystal's here. Um, the only yay, they made it. Deidre's he, Carolyn's here. Hello, Carolyn. Um, Chris, hello, Chris. And, and I think that's who, I, if I've missed anyone, I apologize. Now, Suze, what's your, what's your superpower? That's like launching into it, like we're getting married before we've even dated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, well you yeah. Know. Up, you know, yeah, you, know. you you did hear that analogy at the same time as I did, didn't you? So, <laughs> did, and you know, I... it's not mine. So, Jasmine's here as well. Hi. So, <laughs> so you um, you actually have got some really good information around cleaning your home and doing a home detox. You've got me curious because if I look around here and the, and I've, I've got lots of questions about it, but just just share a little bit about. Um, what it is that you do in terms of well how you can help as well with the, the home cleaning and detoxing your home because I'm sure we're all using crap on our skin and our in our yeah. you know <laughs> homes that we don't even know we're using so well and that's the thing and um knowledge is power but if there's there's a lot of things that we don't know um then oh Oh, <laughs> okay, sorry, I just thought that we've got a bit of an echo. So I'm just wondering, I might just pop my headphones on and see if that's better. That. <laughs> we, we go for the headphones at the same time. <laughs> okay. To my laptop. There we go. Okay. But the only thing, we don't know what we don't know. There we go. That's exactly right, exactly. So hopefully that's better. Um, okay, so really where I started with this, um, God, for about 10, 15 years ago, I was on a bit of a weight loss journey and I was following the calories in, calories out, doing all the exercise and all that sort of stuff. And I learned along the way, and this is that whole thirst for knowledge, I learned along the way that it was a much more holistic thing. So my... Um, health and well-being was really about a whole heap of other things that were that were coming into play, and um, one of those things is obviously it was around toxicity and what I was actually putting in my body. Um, I want I love my business name is um, Susan's Wellness Adventure, and I've called it that because this whole um, journey if you like has been an adventure for me of discovery and learning and just digging and not taking what I've heard and what I'm being served up at face value so to me it's really important that we take um, control of our own health and actually take get in the driver's seat of our health and don't 
just take what's given to us and what we might see in the media and marketing and through advertising and actually take control of that. So for me, um, when I became more aware of what food is medicine and all of the things that we know um, that are, are good for us, um, the, uh, the impact of toxins on my body became um, more and more um, aware, you know, into my awareness. And so what I did was I wanted to take some time to actually think about what I was putting on my body. So I was very conscious about the food I was eating and I was eating more organic, eating more plant-based, but I wasn't really thoughtful of all the other stuff that was going on. So what I do and what my superpower is, I guess, is helping people to understand that there's other options and that those options don't have to be super expensive. They don't have to be difficult to implement and they can be fun. And um, they. so it's, it's not just about... Because sometimes this topic can be a bit boring, right? And you go, oh, detoxing. I've heard about detoxing so many I was, times. I was actually going to say, tell me what you think is fun about cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know I what? Can... <laughs> go on. You had said to me a year ago that I would be making my own cleaning products, making my own deodorants. I would have mm. said, you're freaking nuts. I don't have yeah. time for that. I just don't have time. And now I can actually make this stuff and it's personalised purely for me. So I can actually have my hand soaps, my deodorant, and there, and it is fun because I can actually mix things up and I can and make it the way that I want to and I know exactly what's in there and I know um, that it's not going to be doing me any harm and, in fact, it's actually going to be nourishing my body at the same time. <laughs> See, I, I've got I've got a steam cleaner, and I have to say, if I I love it so much. I want to marry it and have its babies. But <laughs> there's absolutely nothing. It's a top of the range steam cleaner, and it's absolutely nothing that comes out of there but steam, and it does a brilliant job. And that's my therapy. That's yep. you know so. I, I would actually, and, and people would pay me to come and make their bathrooms look like new because I would, and it would use absolutely no chemicals. Fantastic. And it just, but, uh, and, and I still do it. And it's just, uh, it's my therapy and to get paid for it's even better. So. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Just plug, in, plug in the headphones and, and just go for it. You know, three hours, four hours later, you've got a beautiful sparkling bathroom and I'm just sitting there going, oh, but. I, I actually know what it's like when you're saying, you know, we used to use, I used to use the, the, the horror, Domestos and the bleach and all that sort of stuff. So if you don't have a top-of-the-range steam cleaner, what are your options for doing stuff like cleaning the, the bathrooms? Because in my, I like them really dirty. So <laughs> Oh, I love it. Um, so, so things like a bathroom, for example. Um, so, making your own um, all-purpose spray. So, obviously, in the bathroom, you want something that's antibacterial. You want something that's actually go that's going to clean, but you also want something that's going to leave the bathroom smelling nice, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I actually use um, an essential oil blend called On Guard, and it's got all of those um, things to it. So, it smells like um, Christmas. I reckon it smells like a chai latte um, and you can make up your own. I've got one here just as a, so you make up your own. And the other thing I love about this is no waste. So I'm not throwing a, a plastic bottle um, in the um, in the rubbish um, afterwards. I'm actually just remaking it. And it literally takes two, not even two minutes to make it. It's water, vinegar and the essential oil and a little bit of Castile soap and that's it. So, but the thing that I love about this is this oil blend that I use for that also supports my immune system. So I am able to actually do really good, healthy things for my body by using this, um, you know, I can put it on the bottom of my feet and it will actually boost my immune system and help me not to get all those winter coughs and colds and, and cleanse me internally of bacteria. So it's not just about um, cleaning materials. So Fiona is saying that she knows when she stopped using bleach and chemical cleaners, she stopped suffering from headaches. 
Yeah. That's, um, I, and I know when I would clean the bathroom and, and I would like using the Domestos and all those heavy, really horrible um, bleach laden cleaners, it would really, yeah, it really had an impact on me. I'd feel like my throat had been stripped dry just from breathing it in. She said Definitely. Uh, has the only son who is super helpful and suffers from contact dermatitis. He uses these natural products without affecting his skin. It's win-win. That's Sorry. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's that's what it's all about. So, and often yeah. skin conditions can actually be an external sign of toxins mm -hmm. in the body, and us yeah. trying to actually the body's trying to get rid of those toxins. Um, so the body whispers to us, and we have to listen because um, otherwise, if we don't listen, it'll scream at it us, yells. and we never want it. We never want it. Yeah, it absolutely does. <laughs> So we want to take notice of that and we don't want to just be masking that. Mm -hmm. So another big area of toxicity is obviously some of the um, over-the-counter uh, medications and things and pain pain relief and other things that we might use as well. So, um, yeah, yeah, awesome. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. So all of those areas are really important to make that shift in the change. Mm. So I think I, I want to talk a bit about um, deodorant, but first I'd like to say Suze has put together a brilliant webinar. I've downloaded it myself. If you want to know how to detox your home, she's done a webinar for you. So just comment detox in the comments below and we'll send it straight to your inbox. So if you just comment uh, detox, there you go. So let's talk about underarm deodorant because I I think that there's two things there's toothpaste and underarm deodorant that I find if you know I've, I've had thoughts about moving away from the, the ones that I use and I, and I understand that the ones with the aluminum <laughs> the aluminium yes. in them are, are not good for your body so can you share some of your wisdom around that and what options that we have instead that not are going to make us smell like we haven't washed for a week? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Now, this whole area is really interesting and I'm actually, this is one of my areas where I'm really passionate because I, for many years, had used, you know, the commercial deodorants and, mm. you know, you go down that supermarket aisle and you try and find something that you think is going to be less harmful and it's yeah. really hard to actually work out from all the labeling no you have to know so much about all the different chemicals and what's toxic what's not what's going to cause what effect it just does my head in and who's got time yeah. for that right so um but we think about first, um first world yeah. problems right here <laughs> yeah that's right exactly that's exactly right the only yeah. but um so, but what I um, found was you, with your underarm, obviously there's two things. What you don't want to do is have an antiperspirant. So by having something that stops you, perspiration is the body's natural way of getting um, toxins and also releasing things from the, from the body. So that is one of the ways the body releases toxins. And sometimes if you've got really smelly armpits even though you're using deodorant you might want to think about again the the levels of toxins that are in your body um but without getting too personal the other thing especially for us girls is you think about where you're putting this deodorant and if you're blocking up the glands there and stopping yourself from perspiring you're actually blocking your lymph glands and your lymph glands need breast tissue um and there's just a whole hope host of things that can go wrong with that right and so we don't want to be doing that so what we do want to do though is we actually want something that neutralizes um, the bacteria so this bacteria is what actually gives the smell when it's it's coming out of your armpit so what you want to do is I have made up I started with just using I used to use just plain old baking soda just like you would a talcum powder in a shaker that works quite well and you can just pop that on but it's a bit dry and um, it can be a bit drying on the skin. So I then moved to just a fractionated coconut oil um, in a roller with some essential oils that actually have natural deodorizing properties. And some of the oils that would do that um, are your citrus oils, 
is cedar wood um, and and other you know oils, and they all they all smell divine. Your lavender um, has also got you know those properties as well. Fractionated coconut, just for anyone who's never heard of it, is actually coconut oil that's been spun at a very high speed, takes the long chain fatty acids out, it makes it liquid, so it stays liquid, and it has um, no coconut smell. Um, so that's one option, it's just a roller. But now I have found this. So I don't know who has heard of a soft paste deodorant before. So this is a little one that I've made. Now you might mm -hmm. see things like this like in markets and that sort of stuff. Um, and basically all this is, is a soft paste made up from, and I can give you guys, the, the recipe is actually in the in the. Um, webinar that you've got a link to mm -hmm. but yep. um, you've got arrowroot powder you've got um, shea butter coconut butter baking soda a probiotic capsule um, and some essential oils and a product called bentonite clay bentonite clay is a detoxing um, agent it's a powder comes in a powder form all of these things you can get from you know your local um, health food store etc you melt all of the, the butters and the hard oils and then you just mix the others, all the other ingredients together and then pop them into a little pot and it sets. Um, it's, and it's actually really, so this is, and it's really hard, you know, this is where you want feel a vision and smell a vision. Um, <laughs> but this goes well, on just like, like it would a moisturiser. So it just soaks straight into the skin and um, because it's got the detoxing effects and you've got the oils in it that are deodorizing, you're, left, you're, you're not left with a smell and it soaks in really quickly. Um, and the cost is the other thing that I absolutely love. So I've seen soft paste deodorants like this at little local markets that are, you know, homemade and that they sell. And you'll buy them for like between oh, 12 to $18. I've kind of seen them varying. Um, have a guess, Adair, how much you reckon this pot would make would cost us to make? Um, so how many, how many, let's have a look how big it is. Hmm. Oh, it's probably about 30 mils. Okay, so so if I said seven dollars. Yeah, well, it actually costs me the ingredients for this are a dollar. Yeah. And jar itself cost me about a dollar fifty so I reuse the jars so um, so two dollars fifty a time one of these jars lasts me about a month so, so when, when I make, make when, yeah I was going to say when you make it up how long does it uh, what's its shelf life um, well I've I made this lot up probably about four months ago and it's still mm -hmm. fine and I'm on the last <laughs> jar of it so I like I, when I make it <laughs> come on, come down. on down. That's it. <laughs> awesome um, but the other thing is um there's also another recipe in that um, webinar which is for a clay mask which you can use for your face but you can use the same mask for your armpits so if you are finding that you've got really smelly armpits do the clay mask for you know maybe a couple of times a week and that'll actually help to get rid of that some of that bacteria and stop that smell. Um, and then you'd be right to go with the homemade with the deodorant without the antiperspirant. That is excellent advice. I think that that is brilliant. And the only thing can't wait to watch that webinar. Of course, I downloaded it and just started watching it, and then I had to go and come on here. So I'll be hooking into that afterwards. So comment detox for your free do it yourself home and so home detox and green cleaning webinar this is really awesome stuff i could actually see us doing i don't know um last what's today thursday oh my god it's thursday <laughs> yesterday <laughs> who am i what's my name um yesterday i had a lovely girl called barbara but there's not enough vodka suppose kids kids me <laughs> on she laughs too and she actually taught me how to make a peanut. Now it's out in the lounge at the moment, but she she's a Bowen therapist, and she taught. We actually made one on screen, and that was so much fun. It was actually 
making this little thing and then she gave us the thing how to use it and I'm thinking oh maybe we could do some little um uh little live broadcast and you could take us through it we can go <laughs> absolutely I actually did think about that but I thought off oh, the first one we'll just chat but um we'll just, it is well I think the fun <laughs> with that is to say let's do some planning ahead we'll get the recipes we'll assemble it and then we'll all make it together. I think that's where the fun really is. Really yeah, I love it. So, love it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so so we'll keep that in mind because I think that there's a whole heap of uh, education that we could be uh, doing uh, while we're here and yeah, definitely looking forward to you coming back and, and teaching us some more. Now, Suze, you did actually say that there was something special that you were offering as a prize. Now, before we announce what it is, what I would like to say is, and I'm making up the rules as we go along because I know <laughs> that we actually haven't had we haven't had a real chance to chat because you were having internet problems and we were on the countdown and we were down to about 22 seconds and and then Sue's popped in, which was great because I thought I'd have to be you and make up stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> and I know bugger all about what like, I'm on my journey doing this whole essential oils i have a couple of questions but i do want to say people who have uh, now okay i'm going to do it the other way around i'm thinking about it you have actually offered a 40 minute aromatherapy massage is that correct yep it's an aroma okay. touch it's a clinical application okay. of essential oils yep. okay beautiful and that's obviously something that you have to be um face to face for <laughs> Sure, absolutely, it is. Yep, right. yep. So, so the next, the next bit of my crazy scheme is we've got, uh, we <laughs> we've got people who have downloaded the, uh, they're typing in detox now to download their DIY home detox and green cleaning webinar. I was wondering if we could get people who were interested and who may watch the replay because we do get quite a few people watching re the replay of these uh, shows. If we could do a live draw and we would actually enter the people who have commented detox, we could enter them in the prize, in, into the draw to be drawn live at 3 p.m. on Sunday. So does that work for you? Absolutely. Definitely. We've that got, sounds fantastic. We've got and, Annie and drawing the prize, we've got Paula and we've got you. So maybe we'll just do sort of a culmination and then we'll do so we thought we'll and we can just get us all on screen and just have a party, you know. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And if, if the winner is not someone from Adelaide, we can actually, um, I can either have a, a chat to my network to see if we can get someone else to do it or I can do a one-on-one -on -one wellness consult online and um, and maybe a essential oils, you know, a, a bit of a one-on-one -on -one, um, home detox class as well. Oh, so okay. I can do well, that. that sounds that sounds absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thank you for that. So when now you're commenting detox, now you will also automatically go in the draw to win a 40 minute aroma aroma touch, is it? Or a yeah, aroma, aroma touch. Yeah. Aroma touch yep. massage with Sue's. Or if you're not in Adelaide, we will organize something else special for you. Now I have another question. <laughs> yes. my daughter has made this she's actually made me a necklace which is hanging up there i won't get it now but this is for the car this is a thing for the car okay. and i love when you, when you have these things and you go around the, the corner and they go like that and you're going that way just <laughs> anyway it's, it's real. this has got a lava rock ah, in it, right? yep Yep, it's it's got a it's threaded through, and there's a space down here to put a um, a crystal or something else. Or um, my daughter said tiger eye would be good because that's yep. for protection. Yeah, um, my other daughter actually. So, and she said all you do with this is you pop some drops of oil on it, and it absorbs the oil. So, yep. Could, Absolutely. So, I think, I think so like right on the spot, but no, I mean, well, well, it's a great question. So there's yeah. two things. One of the things when you watch the webinar, you'll find out that 
um, all oils are not created equally. So one of the things yeah. you need to think about is the quality of the oils. Um, and you'll find out a bit more about that in the webinar. But with your um, car, um, really, it, you're, it's an air freshener. And, yeah. But it's more than an air freshener if you've got the right oils in there. So mm -hmm. for long trips, I would be using um, wild orange and peppermint in there what? for focus. So that is the focus blend. So wild orange you, and peppermint. Would you actually mix them together? Put them, or put a yeah, drop? put both. Put drops of both onto yeah. your um, onto that. If you yeah. want something that is calming um, but not sleepy. Um, you might use something like we've got a, a blend called Balance or another blend called Citrus Bliss, which is just like sunshine in a bottle. Um, lots of, you know, your oranges <laughs> and, and oranges and mandarin and red mandarin and um, lemon and lime, absolutely divine. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm. so it really depends what mood you're wanting to create and what you're wanting to do with it. And that's the beautiful thing with essential oils. You can create any mood and shift the mood um at any time so 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 i'm i'm assuming because i don't like i said i know bugger all about essential oils but i'm happy to learn there's a whole heap of there's a whole body of knowledge out there that i'm fascinated with so the the essential oils are they do they have connection to the uh the energy that we we bring like you're saying that we can you know oh, some absolutely. oils perk us up or calm us down or definitely so very broadly, essential oils cover four things. So they will either energize and invigorate, relax and calm, they'll support cell and tissue repair, or they'll create an unfriendly environment for the nasties, you know, the bacteria and fungus mm -hmm. and those sorts of things. It's at a very, very high level. So um, I've lost you, Adair. Are you still there? Okay. Yes, I, I'm still here and I can see you. I'm just wondering what's... Hello. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what's, here. what's happened here. Um, yeah, I can't see it here, and I'm not sure if I think all you guys are still there. I'm just typing in now to say I'm still here. We've had some real okay, interesting. Sorry. Work. Okay. Cool. I'll just keep talking. I can't see or hear you, dear. <laughs> um, so, what was I saying? The properties of the oils will shift things but the other thing is these oils are from nature they're from plants and so they have their own energy um so oh, can you see me now hello can you see me now yeah can you see me hello sorry um can you guys still hear me can someone just comment whether or not you can hear me or whether i'm just talking to myself yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so the energy in the um, in the oils actually then harmonizes with our energy, and um, the chemical compounds in here can actually affect us emotionally as well. So. Essential oils, are, there's a whole breadth of information and knowledge that I'm really, really happy to share on other catch-ups um, on essential oils. Um, but as I've lost connection here, I'm not sure what's happening. It might be best if I stop because I think time's just about up and hand back to Adair. <laughs> that was yeah. great. This We're all done. So really um, make sure that you <laughs> jump on, have a look at that webinar. There we go. Susan, there we go. Oh my God. What fun this is. I love new technology. Suze, I don't know, you're in the lobby now. You can, if you can see or hear me now, just wave. No. Can you? No, she's gone. I'm still here. You're, I've just popped you in the lobby. It is time. We are at 8.30. We're going for half an hour. We have been flat out with broadcast and it's been fantastic to have you join us the only thank you for taking the lead with some of these as well and roy i don't know where you are he's probably asleep from doing jury duty but he's going to be up and running in the next few days 
We've got amazing shows coming up for you over the next week. Look at my time, tv.live. Check out the events calendar. We're scheduling them in now. And you can just choose which one you want to come and see. Come and see them all. They're awesome. Chris, thank you for that information about being fine, about having something dangling from your um, rear vision mirror. I had no idea. What if I make it really, really short? Anyway, I'll check out the road rules for that. And the only saying, ladies, you're a freaking amazing. Well done working through this thing. We love cool technology, you rock. <laughs> and I think it's fun when it works. We are in, we are pioneers with this stuff because it's uh, it's definitely that's why I've got the old black and white TV up up here. <laughs> Going back to those days when we were breaking ground with new technology and we don't know what's going to happen. Thank you all for joining us. Remember, comment detox for your free home detox and green cleaning webinar and then you will also go in the draw for the 40-minute Aroma Touch Massage with Suze or equivalent if you're not in South Australia. I'm Adair Palmer and I look forward to seeing you again on MyTimeTV.live. Bye for now.